Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Jeanne d'Arc, The Messenger Movie Thoughts. Now, I mentioned in the review that during, you know, whenever I watch this, even having watched it so many times, because I've watched it so many times also, I always both enjoy the current scene and look forward to upcoming scenes because I know, you know, I know a lot of the details of these, you know, yeah, memorize a lot of the details and, yeah, and to go into some of them you know, right from the get-go, like, the the very opening, you know, with the confession, and, you know, at first the, the priest can't tell there's anyone there, and then, you know, she comes in, and he knows it's her, and it's like, confession, it's kind of supposed to be anonymous, you know, it's, it's not really, oh, hi, you, you know, and still, the moment he sees, you know, he's like, oh, Jeanne, again, you know, and it's, you know, well, what can't possibly wait for tomorrow to, to confess, and, you know, it's with the shoes, and, you know, my father already forgave me, I want Jesus to forgive me, you know, and then she talks of the visions, and, you know, she runs off, you know, it's, it's wonderful, and, you know, she starts seeing the, you know, things, and she, she trips over something, and she then sees, first we see that it's the sword, and it and her are laying in, you know, the, the, the cross, kind of, yeah, and, you know, suddenly it's very dark, and, you know, you've got these knights riding past, and, you know, just, just far enough off that they don't see her, and then you see a wolf come in and it you know runs off and then it comes by with you know a pack of wolves and they ride you know and she runs back to her village and you know the you know it's on fire and everything is just you know there are these troops all over she keeps almost being spotted and then you know her sister she, she finds her sister and her sister gives up her hiding place for Jeanne and you know the the rape and the whole thing it's just such powerful scenes and just you know you you understand why this you know yeah you you can talk about whether whether it is because of the you know a desire for hatred a desire for revenge and a uh, a hatred of the English that motivates her or if it is that she is sent by God but if it is the hatred you can understand from that scene you know why that is and we see this girl so innocent and and happy and then you know she is broken by this attack and it's just you know even we even see her with the priest again you know she's she's basically catatonic for a little while and then she is like you know she demands to see a priest and then with him she's suddenly furious and yeah and yeah it's just it's really well done and you have these you know really nasty ugly English soldiers, you know, and in part it's of course because they are, you know, they're riding around in, in battle, just, you know, speaking just realistically, of course they're going to be muddy and disgusting and such, because, yeah, and yes, rape of, again, awful, but there is a lot of rape in war, you know, often, you know, especially when it's 
the you know the country you've invaded, but also sometimes your own people. You know, soldiers will rape their own people if, yeah, and and it doesn't help that he has those teeth. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna stop it right there. Now, and then you know another scene that I then you know really look forward to and then enjoy is her first meeting with the Dauphin, which also brings up how you know if you if you fall on the side of God wasn't involved and or is not real, how did she how could she tell? who was the Dauphin, you know, you even have one of the, you know, I, th I think it's the guy played by Vincent Cassell, not the guy played by Checky Cario, or however you pronounce that, both are excellent, you know, in general, I ended this, but yeah, I think it's, you know, Vincent Cassell was like, now we'll see who passes for a king, and <laughs> yeah, he doesn't quite. You know, and you know, you have the rich guy who's like, you know, who you he was. Just, we were just told he, you know, the the guy who wants to pass for a king. Yeah, he could pass for a king, but he might enjoy it too much and might, you know, try to take the throne. And you know, then you have the the rich guy. You know, oh, so very rich, way too rich to be the king because everyone knows I'm the, you know, the poorest man in the country. And, you know, he's also, he always has this real, like, arrogance and just, you know, and he stands like, yep, I'm the king, I'm totally, you know. <laughs> and I also love his whole thing with the trebuchet. You know, first we see the trebuchet just firing off a projectile. And that's the English firing on the French. And, you know, hey, what, what? We're being fired on. Which side? the window side and then you crashes in right next to him and you know and there's that one guy who's like asleep and then goes back to sleep you know it, it, you know you you need that guy from the start of the fifth omen you know to say aziz light that's the, the that's the problem there and you know then when they've taken over that fortress you know the the rich guy goes up this is mine you know Dibs, and yeah, it's it's you know, and then he's like you know, having made a making a message into one of the projectiles, and they're like laugh, you know, the others are laughing at it, and then we you know fire, okay, now the you know too high reload, you know, and then okay, now we know how to hit you know, put this one in, it's it's special, and you know, it's more chuckling and such and fires and we see it land and then you know hello <laughs> yeah and yeah, it's not quite expendables level but yeah it's it's nice nonetheless anyway yeah when she meets the Dauphin the the whole scene you know right from her like making the siren stop and you know she I guess she wasn't dedicated enough to making the siren stop. She is, you know, going to the, the, you know, first we just see her ride in and, you know, you see the letter, you know, tossed from person, you know, handed, tossed of the, you know, such a nice shot with the following thing and grant and yeah. And they kind of, yeah, you know, the, the message and before the Dauphin reads it, you know the the councilmen start to read first, you know, and you get so you learn so much about the both the council, the and the dauphin in in very short space of time. You know that they immediately grab it before the dauphin has a chance, and then he grabs it back and says, "I can read." You know, there's there's this back and forth. They kind of you know arguing and. Yeah, it's it's a real 
it really defines them. You know, they think that they know better, and they basically wish they were running things. They they clearly have that air about them. You know, and and that actually you know helps almost when you know when when. I don't remember his name, Desmond Harrington. It took me a little, a little bit. I haven't watched this since, you know, since before I started watching Dexter. And then, you know, watching this, like, I know that guy. That's that's Desmond. Har that's Desmond Harrington. You know, it took me. A little, but anyway, Desmond Harrington gets on the throne. You know, he's like, I, I can't do this. And and she's like, Who are you? I, I'm. You know. And then one of the councilmen goes, You know, yeah, d declares him. You know. And, you know, but, but yeah, and then afterwards he says, you know, he's here, find him yourself, you know, and the whole thing just, yeah, you know, everyone's the, the hushed silence and everyone making, you know, going off to, to different sides so, so she can come past, you know, and, you know, yeah, you have the three officers, you know, even after they've been kind of, you know, discarded by her, you know, and, and I love, you know, Malkovich, he's almost like whistling and like, he's, he's looking so innocent, like he, he is, he clearly has no idea, you know, it's, it's in character, he's not, you know, the, the Dauphin is not an actor, he's not used to hiding that he's the Dauphin, so he's not, he doesn't know, how do you, how do you act normally, how do you not attract attention, so he's like, mm, what, what, me, not me, I'm, I'm not, you know, and the, and I love when the, you know, when, I can't quite place the scene, but the, you know, Crap! It's it's just it's this thing of, you know. Yeah, I'll I'll just say it. Maybe maybe it'll come to me. But yeah, you know, pointing and say, you, and you know, one of them is like, me, because he certainly wouldn't mind if it were him. But but yeah, you know, and then and she walks close to the dauphin, and you know, there's there's the tension. And, you know, you kind of like, she could tell, she they must be sent by God, but, you know, the others, they don't know that she's not an assassin or something, and, you know, she walks up and it's like, and then, you know, all the blades come up at her throat, you know, all, the, you know, okay, so they're, they're not the Dauphin, they're not going to be king, but they're not incompetent, and they don't know about Jean yet, so they, they're completely ready to, you know, and, and he's like, no, it's okay, it's okay, because, you know, he, he can tell, he can tell that she's, her passion is not against him, it's with him, it's, it's in favor of him, and he does want that crown, you know, and so, you know, she, she gets to, you know, move close to him, and she, like, grabs him, hugs him, from below, and again, you know, everyone, and, you know, about to attack, he's like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, and, you know, her, her breathlessly saying, I have a message for you, and only you, you know, and, and her retelling it to him, and, you know, the, the wind, and seeing him, and I love the way that every time you know, we, we see both the the young boy when when she's a young girl, and we see the the grown man with with the beard, and it's you know it's, you know very clearly it's it's Jesus, it's God, you know, and like she says, beautiful, and and there is this real sense that this is. This, this is the creator, this is someone that when they talk, you listen, you know, and at first, you know, and anyway, points, and, you know, the whole thing, he doesn't say a word until she sees him in the battle scene, when, when she's like, you know, she's, she's losing herself, you know, it's, it's a rush, it, you know, any, any kind of, 
you know, anything from a, from an argument to a, a fight with with weapons, there there is a rush, you know, a, adrenaline, and sometimes you kind of lose yourself, and and she she loses herself, and and the hands come and comfort her, and you know, it's like she says, the the church. Does she use the word comfort? I think, yeah, comfort or safe, something like that. And, yeah, you know, there's a real, yeah, she, she's, it's, it's comforting and it's, it's soothing even. And it suddenly, there's, there's not all this fighting around her. And, you know, he, you know, and, and then he talks and, you know, it's Jeanne. What are you doing? And we see her again, you know, she's she's good with the stick. You know, also love the bit where, you know, she's just walking around and doing that. And, you know, the Dauphin is like, you know, thing and watching her and suddenly you see, you know, the head being cut off like that, you know. And, you know, also gotta love the, the, the scene where where she's checked, you know, and the, you know, you have all this, like, you can understand, you can really appreciate the sheets around and the, the girls with their backs turned around, so, you know, no one's gonna look who's, yeah, but you've got the priests speaking in Latin, you know, and you've got everyone assembled there, and it's very, there's, there's, yeah, there's a real ceremony to it, and when the... And, and after all this, you know, and then walks in this old, you know, I don't want to say old, I, I hate, like, age, you know, that's, you know, mocking people for their age or their physical appearance, but just, she looks experienced, you know, this is a woman, you know, there's, there's, there's calluses on those hands, you know, she, she has, she has been around the, again, not, not meaning any kind of, negative but just this is a woman that knows what she's talking about you know again she speaks you listen and she goes in and you know between the legs and looking up and you know and she she washes her hands first which is quite you know nice for i mean the the the, the whole hygiene was not a, exactly a priority back then although in the court more so but but yeah you know or less so. anyway and and she looks and then she comes out. I see no signs of corruption. What was the other thing? Or ah crap, I don't remember. But but yeah, just the words. She is what was it, pure or complete, something like that. Yeah, just fantastic. But but yeah, you know, good with a stick and you know. I'm playing. And then it's, you know, no. What are you doing to me, Jeanne? What are you doing to me? And the hands that were soothing are now, like, you know, holding on, like, like shaking, you know, and, and blood runs down, and you see bloodied hands, and now several hands on her face, and it's just so horrifying looking and suddenly it's Desmond you know Jeanne we won you know and and Lahir comes in and he try you know he wants to hug her and every time I'm like be careful because we saw what those spikes on the armor you know early grab one by his head and, you know so it's like you know don't don't hug her okay hug her in there you know and and there's still that thing of like you know the the I think it's the from from the Taken Two bridge script on the editing room, like the caption, you know, Liam Neeson hugging, and then it's like, crap, I don't think I remember how to get out of this hold without snapping the other person's neck, you know. But but yeah, you know, and and he's like, this victory is, you know, won. We did we win? Such a, a small word. This this is victory. This is glory. And I just. I love that you're in this film, like the, the, the laugh and the, you know, the swearing and, you know, when I played Age of Empires 2 and played the, the Jean d'Arc, you know, campaign, the moment that he appeared, I was like, oh, this is, this is that badass from the, you know, 
I, yeah, when I first played that and when I first watched this, pretty pretty close to each other probably because they're both like 98 or something. Yeah, you know, and and she looks around and she sees all these dead Frenchmen, and you know this this is glory, and you know she the 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 guy with you know I want his teeth. He has good teeth, you know, and I didn't fight for a great cause, and I want his teeth. He's my prisoner, you know, and, and she throws the ring, now, now he's mine, go, you know, and, and then, you know, and in comes Vincent Cassell again, and it's one of his, you know, he's the one who kind of goes back and forth, you know, he said, you know, was she really sent by God? Who knows? God knows. You know, he's one of the ones whose opinion of her fluctuates with the things that he sees her accomplish and, you know, how long he's known her and such. Excuse me. And, you know, he's like, brilliant. And what of the other prisoners? Do we release all of them too? I don't know. Maybe. You know, and, and she, you know, she's just, you know, He's just completely out of it. She, she's, you know, what, what, what to do, what to do, what to do. Confess. We have to confess. And she gets the prisoner. I, I know this isn't exactly, you know, how, how it's usually done, but will, will you give, grant us confession? Yes. Neil, Neil. You know, and, and she's, and, and they're, they're like looking at her. Was this not what you wanted? You know, as, as they just said, you know, this is, this is this is what we're here to do, you know. The the rest of them, this isn't the first time they've killed someone. This is you know, was that thing of, you know she has something here, with the heart and the stomach for a dozen more wars. You know, I I love when people like in the film, you know, does the the gram and it makes like, you know, a big sound. The the sound, you know, something like that only makes in the big movies, you know, and, you know, yeah. He, when when he does the here and I think isn't when Lahir also does it with with Jean but but yeah and they're yeah it's they they've been in war they've killed people they've seen dead you know dead soldiers of their own and she was she came to the 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 Dauphin she she kept writing and you know. Yeah, she came to the default, demanded to see him, you know, in spite of, uh, you know, she shows respect for authority somewhat, but she still demands, you know, that, why are we wasting time? I have, you know, today is better than tomorrow, and look forward, not backwards, and, you know, she is, she, she wanted this, didn't she? She wanted the fight, you know, she did, she did give chances for, for them to surrender, and, but, but ultimately, yeah, this is, you know, she, she didn't go for diplomacy. She went for war, you know, she went for defeating them. And yeah, it's, it's a really compelling scene for both all that we see, all the horrors of war that we see and, you know, the reaction, her, her reaction and their reaction to her reaction. And also that, we were kind of along for the ride somewhat, you know, we were maybe not quite the, to the level of the ear and the, the arrogant guy, but what were, but we were, we were there, we wanted, you know, we, we were cheering them on. We were like, yeah, you know, fight for your country, get your country back from this invading, you know, colonial power kind of, yeah. You know, and and then afterwards, it's, yeah, this is this is actually horrifying, and it's so telling that her answer to that is confession. Her answer to having given away a pair of her father's shoes is confession. She, she got his forgiveness, but she wants Jesus to forgive her as well. And her answer to having helped kill a bunch of people, having helped get her own people killed by dozens. Her answer to that is also confession. 
And it's this, you know, I, I won't say anything negative of it here, but just it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's her go-to, you might say. It is, it comforts her, like she says, of the church. Now, and yeah, among the, the scenes, of course, after meeting with the Dauphin, the, the, her frustration with the officers before the first battle, you know, first she writes, why was I told to write here if we have to fight on the other side? Okay, no, never mind, I'll write back. And he's like, my people are starving, I'm going to bring them this food. And yeah, and, and she rides through the, you know, the town and, you know, they're all, you know, just in awe of her, this, this peasant girl sent by God, you know, and she, you know, she's in there and they're, you know, off, discuss they're, they're in the, the room discussing the battle and she's, you know, running around. She, she slams the windows, you know, you almost worry that she'll smash them, she slams them so hard and she's walking back and forth just the, the, you know, all this, all this passion and energy and the, you know, and she, yeah, you know, the, the, De Desmond is like, you know, please try to understand, they, they're, they're so happy that you're here, you know, they're, and the, the, you know, and, and her, as you know, she can't, she can't see all this suffering because she's not there to, she's there to conquer the suffering her her being there and and having to see all she already she she's already determined to end their suffering her being there just puts it right in front of her and and she she's already determined to get on the other side of that river and fight you know and yeah you know she's pacing back and forth and you know ultimately you know you know they're they're just you know so so grateful for what you've done I haven't done anything and why haven't I done anything because none of you will listen to me you know and and then she's oh, sorry I'm sorry you know I love when you know she gets so passionate and yells you know several times follow me follow me to victory and the the you know First, she, you know, she has, you know, she sends the message, you know, G give up or you, you know, your people will die. And, you know, they, they yell the, you know, the swearing back, and, you know, Desmond hears that, goes back. What did they say? They said to think about, it. you know, and then later, you know, yelling at, you know, Frenchie, you know, and then she walks out, you know, I'm not dead. And you... You better pray that God will forgive your blasphemy, for I never will. I never will. You know, I love her passion, but but yeah, they're you know pacing back and forth. It's clear that there is a like the the others. They're determined to beat the the English as well. And the you know when the battle comes, we see they they aren't they're not resting on their laurels. They're not you know just you know messing about. They they. They they're there to fight. They're there to, you know, take these lands back for France, but they don't, you know, they 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 channel that you might say, and she she has trouble channeling it. There's there's too much energy, and it's one of the places where you kind of get the the sense that maybe maybe she did have some kind of mental problems, you know, I think, yeah, you know, bipolar is maybe what sounds the, the most, you know, she's, she's either, you know, you know, all over and, and constantly, or she's like all the way down. And, you know, you also see it when, when the arrow, you know, you can't fight with this arrow inside of you. Well, okay. No, it's not causing any more, and you know, blood squirts up, and they have to restrain her. She's moving, you know. She refuses to settle down, and you know, <laughs> what a girl, you know. 
yeah, what a girl. Now here, you know, I told you about swearing. I love when, you know, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, earlier, you know, oh, I'm just a girl. That's all I am to you. And, you know, heck of a girl. And, you know, she walks back. <laughs> I told you about swearing, you know. And, yeah. Like, like I said in the review, this guy is huge. He's older than her. He's much stronger than her. He he wields way more authority, and she just walks up and slaps him, you know, for for disrespecting God, you know, and the. But but yeah, there's this. Yeah, there's there's so much passion and barely contained at that. Now. And, you know, I'll, yeah, after that, I, I thoroughly enjoy the war scenes for some of what I've already mentioned. I love when she, at the very first one, she rides out and on the horse jumps over and, you know, rides over, cuts the rope. And you even see some of the English, they're trying to hold on. They, they can't hold up the, the you know, they, they weren't expecting to have to hold it up you know, so suddenly, so, yeah, they drop it, and in comes the French, and they easily overpower the English, you know, the, you know, and, and then later her stunt with the, you know, with turning the, the siege weapon around, and, yeah, you know, such clever, you, you know, she, she's not even, she hasn't even turned it the right side around, it's just, you know, and, crash and it takes out the the bridge and suddenly there's not you know if they had to we see them then fight with the gate and they're firing flaming arrows if they had to do that with the bridge itself they'd have to completely destroy the bridge and then you know afterwards try to get up but when the bridge is just suddenly taken out like that you know that's much more efficient and the kind of yeah and and you know if they were gonna hit it directly like they, they you know then then they go in and attack you know they couldn't have done that with the bridge because the bridge was up you know so so yeah really cleverly done by her and the you know then when the trial comes around and her wit I love her wit when facing representatives of the church both before and after both the French and the English when when she comes and you know have, have you you know have, have you brought any anything a rosary or, or something from God mm -hmm. and she says I, I rode through 500 leagues of enemy excuse me enemy land to get here do you need more evidence of God's you know, God being on my side than that, and they're like, you know, can you can you do something? Show us something. I did not come here to perform tricks. You know, just yeah, love her and the you know that yeah. Then with the the English, you know, and she you know they they ask you know oh, that was really you know expensive for. A mere peasant, you look pretty wealthy for a son of God, don't you think? You know, just yeah, I botched her line in that, her, his line in that, but yeah, and you know the, you know the laughter, and they're like, you know, okay, from now on, we probably shouldn't do it in front of people because she has way too easy of a time of, yeah, it's it's that thing of when the deck is so thoroughly stacked against one person that person actually winning is all the more impressive you know it makes those who were against her look so weak in that they they felt so weak that they had to really double down on her and in spite of all of that they were so weak that she could still defeat them so yeah you know and then the you know and then it turns then you know did you ever kill anyone and you know you you had your sword you didn't always have your banner 
and you, you know, you were swinging your sword around it. Love that guy's delivery. So passionate, you know, swinging your sword in the air above you. All that, you know, all that going around you. And you mean, and you say, and you're, you know, you're claiming that you never killed anyone. I never killed anyone. And then, you know, the, the conscience, I love the conscience. This is, you know, I love Dustin Hoffman as the conscience in this, you know. And, and then it's back to him. How can you lie to him like that? You know, the the kind of it's it's like with with the the two sightings of of Jesus, with both the boy and the grown man Jesus, there is such a authority and such you know yeah you, you really you you see them and or hear them and it's just this is someone who is in charge you know and yeah the I suppose I before I get more into the conscience yeah the the whole rest of the trial you know she keeps refusing to go along with and you know she insists she has to have confession before you know and she's she's strapped to, to all the wood and and you know he walks up, I beg of you sign this just you know I I will give you confession myself you know just and she goes ahead signs with the X you know I love, I love her and then she signs with an X what kind of a name is X look she was taught how to write her name by Joliet Jake. It's just that's how it is, and yeah, it's it's you know she signs it, and you know conscience, you just signed away his existence. To you, he's not real. You know. Also, I love the the you know the one clear atheist in the film, you know, the was the Duke of Burgundy. I don't believe in God, nor do I believe in the devil. That's why I'm never disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's your anti theist for you. But but yeah, the or I suppose maybe just atheist, but but yeah. The the you know and then she says, can I have it back? No, you you've made the right choice, you know. And she and she, you know, grabs him, and they they have to throw her back in jail, even though she was just like you said, save her from the the, you know, the the fire, save her from the chains. She's she's free to go, and like she said, you know, she's your mother now, not ours. And yeah, you know, that basically, at, at least, that's how I read it. That basically, she was, you know, she was found not guilty. She was, or it was basically enough that she can, she's free to go. She, she, not only will she not be killed, she will be set free, but then she goes, you know, grabs him and resists, resisting arrest. I don't know if it was called that back then, but yeah, it's, yeah. And then, you know, she goes back in there and, you know, they, they beat her and they strip her and, you know, puts men's clothing in there and, you know, finally she is burned after that, and you know, then we get the the yeah the the sardonic you know writing you know text afterward. You know, she was she was burned and she was canonized by the church five hundred years later. You know, just yeah, that's just you know. Keep that in mind as as a yeah, and the yeah that that brings me to the conscience, you know. There's yeah right right from the very first time like you know she, they they take her and she you know she she falls and she thinks she's being killed because you know that's what you would expect of her, but, you know, they, yeah, they try also love the, the thing with the, you know, yeah, the, the whole thing leading up to her being captured by the Burgundy, Burgundies, I don't remember, anyway, 
yeah, her her being difficult for the Dauphin and and you know his mother-in-law who's you know who's now turned completely against her and and just still says I you know I love her like no other but you know there's there's always a but it's it's that thing of you know I'm not racist but you know I I love her and appreciate what she's done for us but and you know that that's the second time that you see the you know the Dauphin's wife. You know, in there in the bath with him, and the first time, you know, she's you know, you know, she talks to her mother. You know, the Dauphin's mother-in-law, Faye Dunaway, briefly, and immediately gets shushed. You know, those are the two times we see her, and she doesn't contribute anything. And the one time she does try to, you know, and she's like, you know, clearly. You know, she, like the Dauphin, is affected by what Jeanne is saying, but she can't, she can't affect what he's doing, you know, whether it's, you know, whether he, you know, is, doesn't let her or whether she doesn't necessarily have the, the willpower. Maybe she's been taught, you know, as a woman, you just have to go along with what the man says, which again makes it, which makes it noteworthy that Faye Dunaway is so, strong and you know she she spurs the Dauphin on you know and yeah you know then the yeah you know she comes in and argues you know throws down the letters and the whole thing and they have her captured and then there's the thing of you know the yeah then they start talking about the the ransom you know and he, she says you know he will pay my ransom. You know, the, the British paid it first. The English paid it first. And, you know, Desmond comes up with, you know, this is from, you know, the whole, you know, we, we all pitched in, here. here is 10,000, which we know is enough. And he's like, that's a lot of money. And and immediately, you know, the, the one of the counselors is, mm -hmm, yeah, you know, I'll take care of this, you know, and we and Desmond immediately know that money will not go towards freeing Jeanne. And Desmond stand there, he's powerless. What's he gonna do? Argue with his king. So yeah, and that is basically the last we see of Desmond, I think. So yeah. Now the Yes, so that brings me entirely to the conscience, you know, the, yeah, she, she imagines her death. And like he says, it's so, so romantic, all the, you know, the grass growing, I, I quite like that. You have quite an imagination, which also is a hint towards maybe she imagined this, you know, she saw what she wanted to see, as he says. But maybe not great enough. And then, you know, death is so much simpler, you know, and you see the, you know, someone being killed. And after a few months, you know, and then we see the guy rotting, it's disgusting. And after a year, finally, romantic, you know, and we see the, you know, the, the grass, and he's completely. Yeah, rotted away, not even the skeleton is, is left. And, yeah, and it maybe even helped that someone died there. You know, it, it can have given, you know, what was it called? Uh, provided food for, you know, animals nearby or, yeah, the possibility of some living in the ground itself, but, but yeah. And, you know, at, at first she's like, you know, she won't listen to him at all. And he's, do, do you want me to wear another face, perhaps? This, and, you know, and, and Dustin Hoffman's voice coming out of all three, of course. And, ah, too young. How about this? Wait, there's something missing. And then the blood starts running down. Uh, yeah, just, you know, and, you know, she she's... Be gone from me, devil, or Satan, who 
Who are you to think that you can tell good from evil? Are you God? You know, just, yeah, the, the whole thing. And just gradually, you know, I, I, I did it for God. For God, really. Follow me, follow me to victory. Follow me to victory. Where was God in that? You know, and the... I also love, you know, when when he's like, you know, when they're talking about whether she killed anyone, you know, what about the, you know, and we see her, shut up, I, I didn't kill that man, you know, and, and it's also, it's very cleverly done because technically we don't see her kill anyone in reality. When, when we're seeing her and it's not her visions or, you know, there's that vision of, you know, someone decapitating, you know, when she's, you know, swinging the stick. But we never see her kill anyone. She swings the sword some, some to, like, you know, rally, and some, you know, she cuts the rope to, you know, the, the gate that one time, or the bridge. Yeah, I think it was the bridge there, and such. But, yeah, it, it does, you know, she doesn't just immediately shoot down and say, yeah, I didn't kill anyone. She's, she's clearly, what's it called? She is unsure. She, she can't, you know, she, she, so she just wants him to stop saying it because she can't, she can't put it away as long as he keeps saying it. She's, she doesn't want it to be true. And every time it's spoken aloud, it's like he's forcing it upon her. And she, she, she can't, she just has to not think about it because what if it is true? And the, you know, and and him gradually convincing her yeah and i think that's that's where another of those you know shoulder claps you know face it sean you saw what you wanted to see you know and the you know and and she admits it you know which i maintain you know someone admitting to something doesn't mean that it is true for for one thing are they the <laughs> you know, arbiter of truth, and for another, you know, and, and, and well, you know, they, they know what they themselves saw. Yeah, but, you know, that's like, you know, with witness testimony and such, you know, it changes in our mind because we, whether we realize or not, we do have some, some biases. This isn't even necessarily negative, but just, you know, you think that it was this way because that's what makes sense to you. And, yeah, it's just, you know, con yeah, confessing to saying that you did something or that you did something first, <laughs> confessing that you did something on purpose or that you did something, you know, with the intent to do something wrong doesn't mean, of course there are some where it is true, but as, you know, it's not necessarily the case. You can have changed your mind and you know the 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 idea of you know when when the conscience himself is you know he is he does not say that god is god doesn't exist he says that she was wrong even arrogant to think that she you know the god needs her you know and and such but you know, there, there's, of course, the view that he and God don't exist. You know, we, we see the camera and showing that she's not, he's not really there. You know, she can hear his words, but he's not really there. And that's, again, you know, the, the movie kind of says some things for both views. Whether she is there, you know, I already mentioned how did she recognize the Dauphin. And, yeah, here near the end, she's she sees him when others don't also, you know, at, at the stake with, with the, you know, when she signs and, you know, he suddenly disappears when she's being woken up by one of the Burgundy, I guess. And yeah, so the, the explanation that doesn't include God is that it is indeed her own conscience that she's finally, and that's, that is, 
sometimes true when you spend a lot of time by yourself without anything to distract you and you know no visible means of bettering your situation you know you can you know that's part of what you know the the argument for prisons or at least you know some form of limit to freedom you know is is the idea that you contemplate and maybe regret maybe you know reform and yeah she she thinks and thinks and she comes to the conclusion that she probably did kill she did it for herself and yeah god was not involved you know and that again you know that that can also just mean that God didn't choose a side in the conflict, or that she herself was not sent by God, but that it worked out. You know, the, that's the thing, you can call it a miracle, the fact that she came, that she found them, and that she actually, you know, managed to turn the war around, or you can say that it was, you know, extraordinary coincidences, or, you know, otherwise explain. Again, I'm not... I'm not here making the argument for either. I I think it's great the way the movie does it in keeping it very ambiguous. Which again, I mean Yeah, I you know, as, as I said in the review, I am an atheist, so yeah, I I I do have my own opinion on what you can probably figure out what it is. But it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah, but I'm not going to try to talk anyone in, else into it. Now, and I also really like the the very ending with the conscience taking her confession. And we see her being burned at the stake. And, yeah. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.